Um, I used to study philosophy, and we get these moral dilemmas posed to us, you know, like the trolley problem, or this one. What if all of society worldwide was perfectly happy and functional and at peace forever? But in order to maintain that, somewhere deep underground, a single child is tortured forever, and that's all. Everyone else is happy. Would that be worth the sacrifice? Or would it change everything? Would it make you feel guilty knowing that with every bite you eat and every next day spent working on your passion project in the sun, be devalued, debased by this misery felt by a single individual whose youthful and innocent life has been destroyed and replaced with this living hell so that your society may function and provide liberty and happiness? What is left of your humanity if you acknowledge that this is an acceptable, perhaps even the best case scenario type of situation, if you allow that to be normal? Well, let me tell you about the countless, nameless, tortured, and disappeared individuals who suffer for the luxury and comfort, not of everyone else, but of a minority of people that includes you, most likely. And notice how I didn't mention happiness, peace, justice, or freedom, which you would have been experiencing had this been merely a mental exercise. But it's not. This is a moral dilemma that we're actually living in. These are people being thrown under the tracks of progress, not accidentally or with malice, but by design. This is how we extract profit from one side of the world and transport it somewhere else. At great expense to the lives of individuals and to the quality of our environment and to life itself, every day. When I come home from the supermarket, the only shop I still visit, some part of me thinks that I don't do enough yet to be spared the following question. How many acres have you ruined today, merely subsisting on the backs of others? Time for a song, well, if this was a radio show, but instead, we'll wax on, pontificate further, introduce a topic for discussion. We are currently living in an inhuman moral dilemma. We have been given the rare, oh so precious opportunity to reclaim the pearl of our humanity from the gnawing swine jaws of barbarism. Because the machine has come to a halt, and it's becoming clearer and clearer that the air pollution and the stress and the nutrient deficient, gluten trans fat and calorically excessive dietary pattern it necessitates through market forces isn't just destroying our environment, but our immune systems. And we become targets for viruses that we unleash ourselves by cutting closer and closer to the root of what sustains us, life. The old way wasn't just the problem, it was a calamitous path of destruction. It spelled the end of our humanity long before it became a threat to humanity as a species. And right now we have the only chance that we've gotten in a generation to make changes that put us back on the path towards calling ourselves humans with some dignity. And I hate to waste it. There'd be no redemption from that. We need to fight with all we've got. This is the only chance we have at freedom. From the servitude and destruction that the old regime, the machine mind, would have had us caged into and that would have had us caged again. This lockdown is a part of that, the reflex. A fear-based panic response to a threat of its own making from a system that's so hollowed out of all understanding and resilience that's literally only the men in boots that could keep it going. And they might. That's my only real fear. Naked brutality. The gloves coming off. How domesticated am I? How privileged indeed that that's what I'm actually afraid of. For my subjugation to continue, but without the comfort offered by the velvet glove that used to be around the mailed fist. Don't worry if you could catch that metaphor, I feel pretentious for using it. When offered a chance for freedom, can we get over our own attachment to the comfort of the cage? What it means running into the unknown with nothing but each other. Those already in the rebellion, at least the XR wing of it, have heard at least once, together we are all we need. And thank you for reminding me of that.